It has definitely been a while since we filmed with the Mark V Super, but I'm glad to say, as you guys can see, it is finally back in our possession. And if you look even closer, you'll notice that there is no body kit on the car. We are completely in the nude. We do not have any of our Street Hunter wide body on the car at the moment, and that's because we have officially finished all of our prototyping and have finally created our final molds for this car. Now, while the molds are being delivered to us, which we should be getting some pieces, maybe today, but if not today, later rest in the week, before we get all those pieces that are in fiberglass and put those on our car, one thing that I really wanna do is I really wanna clean up this work that we've done. The work that we did to get it to SEMA was definitely rushed and there's no arguing that. If you take a closer look, we didn't have any of the rear fenders welded. They're all cut and trimmed and sliced, but not tacked yet. Also with the front, this edge is super, super raw. The cut on the front fender is pretty ugly. That all needs to get trimmed up. Same thing is replicated on the other side. That is just not gonna cut it, especially for our final form of this car. So we're gonna go through and pretty much give this car the tender love that it needs to get it ready for the kit once it's back from paint. Now on top of that, I'm also really excited to say that anyone who has ordered anything from our Street Hunter for the Supra, either that being the wing or the full body kit, they will be shipping out late next week and you guys will finally be able to install them. So for everyone who did pre-orders, I thank you so much. After this point, there is no more waiting for parts. One of the biggest things that I really wanted to focus on for Street Hunter is to make sure that if you order something, there is no wait. Now, because this was a prototype and we offered pre-orders, there was a wait for this product of only about two months. But now that we are finished with our moldings, we are always gonna have kits and wings in stock and everything. So if you order something, it will get shipped to you as soon as possible so you don't end up waiting for long periods of time. Also on top of that, we have a old school S2000 blue jet tag and we actually have something new for this. If you guys haven't seen, we actually added some jet tags to streethunterdesigns.com. We have them in a few different colors and we have little stickers and we also have t-shirts. So today, one of the things that I'm very happy to do, that's kind of a surreal moment, we'll do it together here, to officially label this car the Street Hunter Supra. We're gonna throw on the Street Hunter jet tag. I went with the one that's a black and red because it matches the key and matches my car and the interior. But we have them in red, we have them in black, and we have them in reverse color form. So, hyped on that. Kinda place a sticker somewhere. With the years of experience I have, behind a welder. Today we are gonna to be tacking these things shut. So we're gonna be using, um, we have a flux core MIG welder. Only the best of the best, Cal, for a job like this. But in all seriousness, uh, I don't have experience with the TIG, so we're gonna be using this, and this is more than enough to get this job done. We're just gonna be tacking these things closed and seam sealing it, so. I'm gonna trim this up and get to work. I wanna interrupt today's video to say thank you to our sponsor, Ring. As you guys know, I love Ring and I use their products at home, but I also have a Ring system installed here at the warehouse. My favorite feature about it is that it's one, simple, easy to set up, and two, you can always check to your phone to check in on what's going on at the place of the security system. Whenever I want, I can hop on the cameras and see inside and outside of the shop and have motion sensors surrounded around the location. Whenever motion sensors detect movement, I automatically get notifications to my phone so I can get a peep on what's actually happening. There's no excuse not to have a proper security system these days and Ring makes everything super easy for you. If you go to ring.com forward slash TJ Hunt, you can get a special offer on the Ring Welcome Kit which comes with a video doorbell and a Chime Pro. This kit is all you need to start a Ring of Security around your home today, so be sure to check it out and take advantage of my offer. The links will be down below and as always, you can go to ring.com forward slash TJ Hunt. Thank you so much for Ring for sponsoring today's video and now let's get back to it. See through that? Yeah. We'll do 10. Well, TJ oh, is. I just stared at it. I just looked her dead in the eye, and I'm blind right now. Without your, you're an idiot. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's a that's really bad. So while TJ is tackling the welding bit, because I don't know how to use this thing, I only know how to take weld, and I don't care for it. I am gonna clean up this, all of the edges on the kit, because the kit needs to fit perfectly, and this needs to look good underneath. Also, we're gonna go ahead and tackle these riv nuts because some of them are in a bad position. We're just gonna drill it out, replace them with something else. It's a really simple job. TJ's got the hard job. Ooh, it's sharp. So I went back and noticed that the welds weren't sticking very well. So I made more relief cuts on the tabs on the inside of the fender wall. And then I also cleaned it up a little bit so the metal is a little bit more raw and it's clean and wiped everything down. I'm gonna start back over and see if I can get them to tack a little bit better. trouble with a couple ones in the middle. I've gotten about maybe 80 to 85% of it. There's a few that I just can't do. So Ricky has a little more experience on the flux core welder, welder than I do. So I'm gonna have him see if he can help me and see if he can get a few to stick. It's uh, kind of a mission. Using that thing is like kind of nice because it like you don't need any gas and like it does, just gets the job done, but it's kind of annoying to use and it looks really ugly. But we're gonna be cutting them all off. Just how we did on this side, and then there's seam seals, so you don't see anything, but it's definitely a frustrating um, thing to do if you don't have a lot of experience on it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the rest of the tabs. Once those tabs get cut off, then we'll grind them down to make sure, to make sure they're nice and smooth, and we'll seam seal both sides up. Switch to the floppy disk. Now we do it again. Now we got some seam sealer, and we're gonna lay our B to make this look nice. <laughs> The purpose of this is to uh, make this look flush and um, keep out all the crap underneath the body kit because now that it's tacked, um, we still have some gaps in between some of the edges. So once applying the seam sealer, it will create a seal to, per to protect it from the elements getting inside the car. So we're kind of just gonna lay a base layer down, put some cake on the car, and then we'll go back in a second time and lay some extra for any crevices that could have been created after application. Should have thought of this earlier, but uh, we're gonna tape off the edges, so now when we take off the tape on this side, it'll be cleaner. Got the tip from Throttle, so shout out to you boys, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do another application and get this other side sealed up. Man, 
I wish I would have done this on the first side. Yeah, we got nice eggs. Damn. Well, that side is done. All right, guys, well, there we have it. We have all four corners of the car seam sealed. Everything's drying pretty well. It's already like, I would say it's already about 95, maybe 90% of the way done. This side looks a lot cleaner. I wish I would have done that tape job on the other side, but it's all right, we learned from it. I also seam sealed the fronts too, uh, because in between the hood, there's like a little bit of a gap right there, and I'm probably gonna go back and sand this over so you don't see it. But I just wanted to get rid of all gaps that could maybe get a rock up inside, and I did that on both sides of the car. So our full kit should be coming in hopefully next week. Really excited about it, we are ready to go. Once we get our final fiberglass molds, we're gonna go and we're gonna test fit all those, even though they're ready to go, we're gonna test fit, drill out the holes to match the rib nuts we've already done, send those off to paint, and then once it comes back from paint, we will officially have the very first fiberglass Street Hunter wide body for the Supra, which is crazy to actually think about. Like, that's nuts to me. It took a very, very long time to get to this point, and for all the other products we're developing for this car, and the RX-7, and the Corvette, and other stuff I don't want to leak just yet. It's a really long process. From starting the prototypes to getting the actual like, final production version is almost like six months of work. So I'm happy that we're actually getting here and we're finally wrapping it up and you know, really just immersing ourselves in the world of wide bodies and creating parts out of fiberglass and doing stuff and beyond. So I'm grateful for all the partners that helped us get to where we are and I'm grateful for you guys watching and supporting these videos. I'm super stoked to get this thing back on the road. I wanna thank you guys for watching today's video. I will see you in the next one. Peace out and keep moving forward.